Hello guys, in this video we will see whether the aspect ratio of a mesh really affects the convergence of the results or not. Let us check that by using a simple case study. Let's open at this workbench. And I am double clicking the fluid flow fluid system. Right click the geometry. Create new design modeler geometry. Let's do our analysis with a simple 2D flow. Let us create a sketch in XY plane. Change the units to millimeters. Click XY plane. Click sketching. Click the Z to view the XY plane. Create a rectangle. With the dimensions of Five hundred cross hundred. So now we have created a domain which is having a length of five hundred millimeters and hundred millimeters height. Go to concept surface room sketches. Select the sketch, apply, and click generate. Now we can close the design modeler. Double click the mesh. Let's name the inlet and outlet boundaries. This is the inlet. And this is the outlet. And let's give sizing for this side and this side. Click control and select both edges. Right click image. And go to insert sizing. And I am giving an element size of 2 millimeters. We have to disable the capture curvature so that we can change the behavior to hard. So only when the behavior is hard it will apply the size what we have defined here. Otherwise the default meshing size meshing algorithm will override the mesh size what we have given. And, and select the top edge and bottom edge. Right click the mesh. Insert sizing. And provide element size of 2 millimeters. And similarly, change that to hard. So now we have given the vertical dimension of 2 millimeters element size and horizontal also 2 millimeter of element size. So that corresponds to 1 is to 1 ratio. So now the aspect ratio will be 1. Now we can see a non uniform mesh. So in order to generate a uniform mesh, Click insert, face meshing, select the face and click apply and click generate mesh. Now you can see I have generated a uniform mesh. So you can also see that matrix by the image itself we can see the element aspect ratio is 1 is to 1. We can also check that in the quality mesh matrix change that to aspect ratio you can see Minimum aspect ratio is 1, also the mass, maximum aspect ratio, average, everything is 1. So uh, now we have created a mesh which is having an aspect ratio is 1 which is ideal. That is the maximum good aspect ratio that we can achieve. So let us do a simulation with this and let us do a set of experiments. So we have two wall, vertical wall and horizontal wall. So in the vertical walls we will keep a constant mesh size of 2 millimeters. The horizontal wall we can keep a mesh size of 2 millimeters, 4 millimeters, 8 millimeters, 16 millimeters, 32 millimeters and even we can do with 64 millimeters. So let's keep this as constant. So the aspect ratio will be So as we have seen this is aspect ratio this will be having aspect ratio 1 2 4 8 16 and 32 so this is the maximum aspect ratio that we have chosen so we expect that the result of aspect ratio 1 will be having good convergence and the case with the aspect ratio is having 32 will be having very bad convergence so let's check that convergence by 
seeing the result of number of iterations which is taken to converge the result. Now let's close this meshing module. Right click the meshing module and click update. Now double click the setup. Click start. In the boundary condition, provide a velocity value of 1 meter per second. And leave all other values as default and go to run calculation and provide a number of iterations is 500 and by default the convergence criteria is set as to the power of minus 3 let us leave that as as it is and let's see how many iteration is taken to achieve that convergence of 10 to the power of minus 3 so now we can see the solution got converged does reach 10 to the power of minus 3 in 34 iterations so let's note down so in 34 iterations the solution got converged when the aspect ratio is 1 so now let's move on to the second case which is having an aspect ratio of 2 so that means the horizontal cell will be having larger size than the vertical now close the ANSYS fluent go to the workbench double click the mesh now we can see inside the mesh we have two edge sizing one is the vertical edge sizing let's leave that to 2 millimeters and let's see the horizontal edge sizing that is set as 2 millimeter let's change that to 4 millimeters so that if you generate the mesh you can see the horizontal dimensions of the element is larger than the vertical dimension that is two times the vertical dimension so now the aspect ratio will be 2 is to 1 that will be the aspect ratio so we can check that inside the quality tab also now we can see the aspect ratio is 2 now let's close the meshing module right click the setup and click update to update the recent mesh in the same settings and once you see the blue tick mark in the setup you can double click the solution to run the calculation the updated mesh with the same settings same boundary conditions with same solver settings just keep as it is and click calculate and now we can see the solution got converged in 26th iteration itself. So now we can observe that in aspect ratio 1 the solution got converged in 34th iteration but when the aspect ratio is 2 it is generally we think that the solution will get more iteration to converge but it converges in, in even lesser iterations. Let's close this double with the mesh change the edge sizing to 8 millimeters now this is even larger you can observe the mesh size now the aspect ratio is too much you can see the quality the aspect ratio is around 3.9 that means 4 as we have calculated it is 4 now let's see how much iteration it is taking for getting convergence of 10 to the power of minus 3 right click the setup update double click the solution click calculate and now it got converged at 53rd iteration so for aspect ratio of 4 it got converged at 53rd iteration so now it got somewhat larger number of iterations when compared to the previous cases let's see for aspect ratio 8 close the fluid double click the mesh expand the mesh and change this to 16 millimeters so if you update the mesh you can see inside the quality the aspect aspect ratio is 7.8 that is nearly 8 
So as per our calculation that is 8. So let's see how much iteration this takes. Now we can see the mesh is too larger in the horizontal direction. The aspect ratio is more. Let's close the mesh. Right click the setup and click update. And now it got converged in 40 second iteration. It's again a drop. So the convergence is not behaving linearly with respect to aspect ratio. Let's go ahead with an aspect ratio of 16. Expand the mesh. Leave the vertical as 2 millimeters. And leave the and set the horizontal as 32 millimeters. So now the horizontal size is too large. You can see the aspect ratio is too much. That is that corresponds to a value of around 16. Let's check that. And the quality that's around 15.6 that's nearly 16 let's see how much iteration this takes to get the convergence applied to the power of minus 3 and for an aspect ratio of 32 it got converged at 44th iteration it's almost the same as the previous case and it's time to go with the last case of our simulation that is an aspect ratio of 32 where we need to provide an horizontal element size as 64 millimeters. So this is an extremely distorted case where the aspect ratio is very high that is 32 is to 1. So the width of the element is 32 times the height of this element. So here the aspect ratio is very high. This is a maximum case that we are going to try. Let's see the results. And in this extreme case, we got the solution converged in 38th iteration itself. So if you plot a graph between this aspect ratio and number of iterations, it tells us that the convergence is not purely dependent on the aspect ratio of the mesh. Or we can say the convergence is not solely dependent on the aspect ratio of the mesh. So it may be influenced by a mix of aspect ratio and skewness and some other parameters and also the solver settings. So we cannot simply say that a good aspect ratio mesh can give good convergence. So that's the conclusion from this video. Hope this video helped you. If you have any other idea or if you have any other conclusion from this video, please feel free to comment. Thank you.